Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Red Brooklyn 101 back from Jeffrey Kellogg. All right, so if you wanna learn a little bit more about Jeffrey Kellogg or the Brooklyn Playing Card Company, you can visit them at brooklynplayingcardcompany.com. And if you'd like to purchase this deck, that is where you will find it as well. This deck was printed from Bill Kalush down at the Expert Playing Card Company. This deck is limited to a thousand, right? A thousand. And so they are taking pre-orders right now. So I would say if at the end of this, you think you might wanna purchase this, I would definitely head on down to the .com and check it out. Okay, so why is it called Brooklyn? Well, cause it was designed in Brooklyn. It was designed in Brooklyn. Uh, and if you look at the tuck case here, the tuck case is a homage to a famous stamp. So if you've ever seen the inverted Jenny stamp, it's a plane that's like upside down. And then around the stamp, it has like this red uh, arc border. That's kind of what the tuck case was modeled after. It does say Brooklyn 101 back playing card company on the front there. On one side, it says standard faces classic finish, and the other side says Brooklyn playing card company. The bottom has some ad copy about the Brooklyn 101 back, and if you look at the UPC, you'll see that there is a hidden message inside. The top simply says launch edition 2017, and the back design is a casino back uh, depiction of the back design of the cards. The tongue flap says Brooklyn 101 back, and then there's the address for Brooklyn Playing Cards, and then the web address, brooklynplayingcardcompany.com. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. Like I said, these cards come from the Expert Playing Card Company on the Improved Classic Finish stock. Um, this stock is amazeballs. So, like, I love this stock. Uh, like, if I was ever gonna print my own deck of cards, you know, for the longest time, I thought, you know what, I would probably use Bicycle. You know, I, I use Bicycle, because I love Bicycle stock. But this stock is really, really nice. If you look at the side view right there, you'll see just how smooth this is. The cut on that is not very, not, not very rough at all. And if you look at the, the corners, it's got nice smooth corners, okay? And if you like glide the cards from one hand to the next, they slide really well, they fan really well, and they spring really well. This is a really nice stock. A lot of people always ask how these cards feel and handle. Best thing I can do is measure them for you and then give you that measurement so that you can compare them against other decks maybe that you've held before or owned before. If I stick 10 of these into the caliper, it comes to 2.97. 2.97 is the same as the Blood Kings from Illusionist. It's also the same as the Olympia cards that Bicycle put out and the Casino Royale cards that were made in Taiwan. The back design looks very unassuming and minimal. Uh, it has one of the thinnest white line borders ever printed and it's surrounding a vintage diamond pattern. Uh, there is also, something else hidden within the back design, especially for you magicians. With this deck, you're gonna get two identical jokers. They depict uh, the Brooklyn Bridge Towers. Your Ace of Spades is very simple in design and very classic looking. It does say Brooklyn 101 there. Has the uh, Brooklyn Playing Card Company logo there in the center amidst the spade pip. And underneath that, it says Brooklyn Playing Card Company Launch Edition. Your pips, indices, and court cards are all gonna be completely standard, instantly recognizable, making them perfect for gameplay, magic, and flourishing. All right, so that is my review of the Brooklyn Playing Cards, the 101 Launch Edition from Jeffrey Kellogg and the Brooklyn Playing Card Company. Like I said earlier, if this is a deck that speaks to you, you think you might wanna pick this up, I would definitely head on down to brooklynplayingcardcompany.com and submit an order for this launch edition because like I said, there's only a thousand of these, they are going to go fast. I wanna thank Jeffrey Kellogg for allowing me to have this deck so that I could do the review for you. Thanks, bye.